Hello Mission Hill students and families, Jeremy here once again. This video is going to be about how to properly take care of and hold the bow, which is something we just recently went over in class. And I wanted to make this video so that you guys, if you have any questions or get confused at home, that you'll know how to work on this and you'll know how to practice, okay? So like we talked about, a few parts of the bow you need to remember. The first is the wooden part. We call this the stick. I'll scoot back a little bit so you can see more of it. Okay, the stick of the bow. I've got the tip of the bow here. I've got the hair. And then I've got this piece of wood or plastic down here, which has a funny name. It's called the frog. Okay. And then lastly, I've got the end screw right here, which as you may remember from class, we use it to either tighten or loosen the bow hair. We want to tighten the bow hair when we're practicing and playing. And we want to loosen it when we put the violin away when we're not playing. Okay, as you can see, the violin bow hair is loose right now. Okay, I'm gonna take the screw, I'm gonna turn it to my right, and if I do that, you should see the hair start to tighten up. Okay, see that? And the hair is gonna start to get further away from the stick of the bow. When it gets to be about the width of your pinky or a little bit bigger, for some of you guys with smaller hands, you might measure it with your ring finger, okay? Something like that, then you're ready to play. Then it's tight enough. I'll show you. You don't want to go too tight. If I go like this, if the bow looks like that, that's too tight. That's too much space. So I want to loosen it so that you can still see a little bit of curve in the stick of the bow. If the stick of the bow is straight, or if it's curving the other way, it's way too tight and you need to loosen it. Okay. Once I have it tightened properly, then I can practice my bow hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the stick of the bow with my left hand. I don't want to touch the hair because remember the hair is coated with rosin, which is that block of what looks like kind of like tree sap that turns into powder on the strings that helps this, the, uh, the hair, sorry, that helps the hair get traction so that it grips the strings. I don't want to touch the hair because I don't want that to come off on my fingers. So I'm going to hold it by the stick. Okay. I am going to put my thumb right under this metal part right here. Okay. I'm going to take my other fingers, spread them out just a little bit. I don't want them to be like this. I don't want them to be like this. I want them to be somewhere in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to take all four of them and put them kind of like that. So I'm using kind of the first knuckle of each finger. And I put the first knuckle of each finger on top of the stick of the bow here. So that you can see my fingertips, they don't quite go all the way down to where my thumb is, especially not my first finger, and especially not my pinky, like that. What I don't want to do is this. Okay, that's an easy mistake to make. And I saw a lot of you guys doing that when I first showed you how to hold the bow. It's a really easy mistake to make. So you want to slide your fingers up if that happens, because you're not going to have any control with your fingers down like this. You want fingertips like that. You're going to have a lot more control. If you are a violin player or a viola player, you can put your pinky on the top like this. And we'll talk more about this in class. And your first finger always stays nice and curved. Okay. If you're a cello player, you can leave it down like that and your fingers can be just a little bit lower okay once I've got my bow hold I can practice what I call windshield wipers okay which is where I turn with my wrist tilt the tip of the bow all the way up and then all the way to the side all the way up all the way to the side okay if I can do that and that means I've got a pretty good bow hold. And what you want to do is when you do that, try to do that five times or 10 times and see if your fingers can stay in the exact same spot that you put them. If you see that they're slipping down like this, well, then you might need to hold the bow a little bit tighter. But if your hands get really tight like this, you can kind of see the bones in your hand. That means you're squeezing too tight. Okay, so you want to be holding it firmly enough to where your fingers don't slip, but not so tight that you feel like you're clenching really hard. 
Okay, somewhere in the middle. And that's something that we're going to practice as the uh, school year goes on. Okay, so every time you get your bow out, I want you to practice this bow hold at least five times, okay? So that it starts to feel really comfortable and really natural, okay? And always practice the windshield wipers. All right, happy practicing.